Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today we are actually going to be working on a remastered version of pattern number 14. This one has been out for a very long time, but it was brought to my attention recently that this pattern number 14 right here does not work well in the round with the current tutorial. And back then I was still very new to doing these videos, so I wasn't thinking about in the round clearly when I was doing that one. So I've now done this video where it will work in the round, or of course you can work flat like I've done here in the center part, and then I worked this border in the round. I'm also going to be showing you in the video how you can stop at row nine in the pattern to create this design. So I worked rows uh, one through nine, and then I repeated rows four through nine to do this particular workup right here of the design. So it's really easy. You can use the same video if you like this or want to use this, or you can just work up to row nine, and that will give you this look right here. So the single pattern right here that I'm using as a border. So you can use this as a separator pattern, an entire project. You can use uh, the entire pattern or just a certain number of rows to create this design. And of course, you can work in the round to create a border on anything that you make. I always like to do my borders typically with just doing single crochets around the corner. And I work the repeat stitches up as close as I can to the corner, but we're increasing here at the corner, which is why I typically just do single crochets. I've been asked that a few times how I recommend doing it, and that's how I recommend doing it. Work your corners with your increase, just the single crochets. It in itself, doing it that way, will create a really interesting look to the corner. So that's not an ugly corner to me. Hopefully you don't think it is. So we're now going to jump into the video. This pattern is linked down below in the description. I have updated the pattern on the Etsy store so that it has this new multiple because we are working in a multiple of 10 plus three and the original was designed in a 12 plus one. We're now doing 10 plus three in this tutorial. It'll be on the multiple of 10 playlist if you're looking there for it. And of course, I always put these on the Mosaic Monday playlist as well so that everything is all in one playlist for you guys. You're gonna need to grab two colors of yarn and your favorite crochet hook. The link to the hook that I'm using is always down in the description. And let's jump into the tutorial. Today, we're gonna be using these two colors of yarn. I'm going to use the peach tone yarn, which is the Hayfield Bonus Decay Extra Value, and its color number is shade 0644. I'm going to use that as color A, and for color B, I'm going to use the Stylecraft Special Double Knit, and this color is Mushroom, and it's shade 1832 for those of you who want the exact same yarn as me. And I will have the yarn information and where I purchased it down below in the description. So we're going to jump into the tutorial. We need to be chaining in our multiple of 10 in color A to start out. So we're going to do that now. So we begin our project by chaining in the multiple of 10 starting with color A. So for me, that's going to be this peach tone yarn. But you're going to begin chaining in the multiple of 10 over and over until you've reached the desired size for your project. And if you're working flat, you're going to add three to the end of that count. So it's a 10 plus three multiple for flat. If you are working in the round, you're just simply gonna chain in the multiple of 10 over and over, and then slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring. And then you will begin working the repeats given in this video in that exact same stitch that you slip stitched into. So you'll maintain your exact count of the multiple. The rest of us working flat, we will be using one of those plus three stitches as a turning chain. So you will end up with one less stitch than what you chained when you started your project. So now we're gonna begin row number one and we begin by working into the second chain from our hook. So we're gonna skip this first chain and move here to the second and do our traditional single crochet. And that's how we begin each and every row. So we go completely into the stitch and just do a single crochet like normal. 
Now we're going to do the repeat for this row, and it's very simple. We're going to be doing a back loop only single crochet in every single stitch. So to do that, all we need to do is pick up one side of the stitch. So we're going into that back loop only. And we do a single crochet just like normal from there. So it's the placement of our stitch that matters, and that's what makes it a mosaic single crochet. So we're going to place one of those in every stitch all the way down the row, and then we'll meet up at the end of the row to do the last stitch together. We're now at the end of row number one. We're going to be doing this last stitch together, and we're going to be placing a traditional single crochet into this last stitch. So this is another one where we just go under the V completely into the stitch. And that's how we end every single row. That's how every last stitch is going to be worked. So now we're going to move on to row number two. So you're going to need to chain up and cut your yarn so that you can move on to row number two next. Row two is going to begin now, and we're going to have to join on our new color of yarn. So I'm going to take color B, and I'm now going to join it on. So, you're going to so we're going to return here to the start of the row, and we're going to identify our very first stitch. And we need to handle this little side bump. This is actually our turning chain, so we're going to scoot it down out of the way and make sure that we identify the very first V. And now we're going to go into that complete stitch and do our single crochet to join on. So we're going to take color B, add it to our hook, and pull that up. Now I like to chain one, so back down into that same stitch, and I'm going to complete my traditional single crochet now. Now we're going to begin our repeat for row number two, and row two's repeat is exactly like row one. We're just going to do a back loop only single crochet in all of our stitches. For the rest of the tutorial, I'll just refer to this as a single crochet, and you will know that you're just working in the back loop only when you're working the repeat stitches. So we're going to place a single crochet in all of our stitches and then a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. And then we'll be back for row three whenever you're ready. So work all of your stitches and then meet back up with me. Row three begins now. We're working with color A for this row. And we're going to begin our repeat immediately. And that repeat begins by doing one double crochet into the very next stitch. And we do our double crochet just by sliding down two rows below and picking up the front loop that we left. Now we will work a total of eight single crochets across the next eight stitches. So we're going to identify our very next stitch. If we're not sure where, where that is, we can always fold back this double crochet. One double crochet will take up one stitch back here on this row. So now this one is our next. So we begin doing our eight single crochets. So here's number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Number seven, 
and number eight. One double crochet right here into this next stitch will end our repeat. So that ends our repeat for row three. So let's recap what we've done. Row three's repeat began with one double crochet. And then we did eight single crochets. One double crochet. So you'll start back over with this double crochet and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We're going to do that one more time together, doing my one double crochet. So that started my repeat. Now I'm going to work eight single crochets. Here's one. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, And number eight. One double crochet to end our repeat. So that ends our repeat. So we started over here with one double crochet eight single crochets, one double crochet. So you'll keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row, and we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number four. So we're here at the end of our row three, and I just wanna show you real quick. You'll be finishing your repeat, and you will have only the one stitch left in the row, so you know that you will work your traditional single crochet just like normal. In that last stitch so that's how you're going to be ending all of your rows your repeat will end and then you'll have just one stitch left so that's all we need to do so now we can move on to row number four row four begins now we will be working in color b for this row our repeat for row four begins by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches Here's number one, number two, number three, and number four. Now we will work two double crochets in the next two stitches. Here's our first double crochet. And here is our second. And now we will work four single crochets to end our repeat right here very next stitch one two three and number four that ends our repeat so let's recap what we've done 
Row four's repeat began with four single crochets, two double crochets, and it ends with four single crochets. So you'll be starting back over with the four single crochets. And a cheater way to look at this row is after you do the two double crochets, you have eight single crochets and then two more double crochets. That makes sense. So you'll keep working on down your row and then we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number five. We're now moving on to row number five. We are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row five begins immediately by doing two single crochets. There's number one and number two. Two double crochets. There's number two. two single crochets. There's one. And here is number two. Two double crochets. There's number one. And here is number two. And we'll end our repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one and number two. So that ends our repeat for row five. So let's recap what we've done. Row five's repeat began over here with two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, and two single crochets. So we're gonna start back over with the two single crochets and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down the row. And then we'll meet back up when you're ready for row number six. Row six begins now. We will be working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row six begins by doing two double crochets. Here's number one. And number two. Two single crochets. There's one. And here's number two. Two double crochets. One. And Number two, two single crochets. There's one and number two. 
and we end the repeat by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches. So here's number one. And number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row six's repeat began by doing two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you'll start back over with your two double crochets and keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row. And you'll start to see the shapes form at this point. So you have a pretty good idea of how this pattern is going to work out. And after we've gone through all the rows and, and you're comfortable with the sequence of what we're doing, pretty sure this is going to become very rhythmic for you guys. So stick with it and we'll be back for row seven in just a moment. We are now moving on to row number seven and you will be working in color A for this row. Row seven's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. So here's number one and number two. Two double crochets. Here's number one. And number two. Two single crochets. Here's one, and here's number two. And we'll do two double crochets right here in the next two stitches. Here's number one and number two. And we will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. So there's number one and number two. So that ends our repeat for row seven. So we're going to recap what we've done here on row seven now. So row seven's repeat began with two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, and it ends with two single crochets. So you'll be starting back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row. We'll be back for row number eight when you're ready. Row eight begins now and we are going to be working in color B for this row. Row eight's repeat begins by doing four single crochets over the next four stitches. Here's number one, two, three, and number four. Two double crochets. There's one, two, 
two. Now we will end the repeat by doing four single crochets over the next four stitches. Number one. Two. Three. And number four. So that's the end of our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row eight's repeat began with four single crochets, two double crochets, and four single crochets. So you will be able to start back over with your four single crochets and keep working this exact set of stitches all the way down your row. Essentially what you're doing after the double crochets is eight single crochets total then your two double crochets again so you'll keep working that's kind of like the cheater method right. we'll be back when you're ready for row nine row nine begins now we will be working in color a for this row row nine's repeat begins by doing one double crochet eight single crochets. Here's number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Now one double crochet will end the repeat. So that ends our repeat for row nine, so let's recap. Row nine's repeat began with one double crochet, eight, single crochets and one double crochet to end that repeat so you'll start back over with your double crochet followed by the eight single crochets and one double crochet over and over on down your row and then we'll be back when you're ready for row number 10. could stop right here and use this as a separator pattern or a border on a project it would be really easy just to kind of work the increase around the corner so I think this would be an easy one to do something like that with so if you are going to do that you can stop right here at row nine and you could finish this out by completing a row of single crochets in color a still just to thicken up that top line so it more matches down here at the bottom or of course you can continue on with me and keep working this pattern as it's originally designed. If you do want to use this not just as a separator pattern or a border, but you want this exact design repeated, all you would do in this video is rewind back to row four and work four through nine over and over as many times as you wanted to. And that would give you stacked rectangles going on up so that's another way to use this but now we're going to move on to the original design which means we're moving on to row 10 now so you need to join on with color b row 10's repeat begins by doing one single crochet into this next stitch single crochet right there two double crochets number one and number two four single crochets There's 
one and number two. Three and number four. Two double crochets. There's one and number two. One single crochet ends the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 10's repeat began over here with one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So you'll start back over with your one single crochet. Keep working that set of stitches on down your row. We'll be back for row number 11 in just a moment. Row 11 begins now, and we will be working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two. four double crochets. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Two single crochets. One. And number two. One double crochet in this next stitch to end our repeat. So that ends our repeat for row number 11. So let's recap what we've done. Row 11's repeat started over here with one double crochet, two single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over with this double crochet and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll meet back up when you're ready for our final row, which is row number 12. We're now going to begin row number 12, and we will be working in color B for this row. Row 12's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets, one and number two. Four single crochets, 
one, two, three, and number four. Two double crochets. One. And number two. One single crochet right here in this next stitch to end our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 12's repeat began over here with one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, two double crochets, and one single crochet. So you'll start back over with the one single crochet and keep working this set of stitches all the way down your row. After you complete row 12, this is what your work will look like. And for those of you who want to use this for a bigger section in a project, you will rewind back to row three and complete rows three through 12 as many times over as you want for the size of project that you're making. So once you have completed working the number of repeats of the pattern that you want to do, you are going to have to end it somewhere. And I recommend that you actually work your final repeat up to row nine. So nothing changes about the order of the rows and the way that you're going to do them. Your just final repeat should be done rows three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine so that the end of your project matches identically to the start of your project. So on your final repeat, if you just stop at row nine, your work will look perfect and it will match both here and here. Maybe if I turn it this way, you can see as well, matches, matches. So that's what I recommend that you do. If you are gonna be doing any color changes throughout, you can always change out your colors when you do the restart of the repeat. So at row three, you can change out color A. At row four, you can change out color B. It's completely up to you how many colors you use and how you wanna do it. You can even do some of your color changes using the tapestry technique that we learned at the end of last week's video. That's also an option for you. If you have any questions at all, you can feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this tutorial. And I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. And until next time, bye for now.